How's it going, everyone? Hiker here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm Maryland. And this is more of the Pokemon X wedlock. Yeah, last time we arrived in Anastar City and fought against the rival Kalem. Also missed getting an Obama Snow. Really salty about that. Darn it. Uh, so I didn't talk to her, but I'd like to know about the memories of my Pokemon before I do a little bit of training. Well, that's interesting. It lets me do it straight from the PC. Well, let's hear about Sage's many wives in the past. They're not really wives, but... Uh, let's see. Sage was with April when she caught Bunnelby, the Pokemon... Oh, that's so sad! Oh, Terragon! The Pokemon definitely remembers that it was happy. Oh! So that whole little rivalry all this time, you know? Between Sage and between... Tarragon. I guess Sage actually did care for Tarragon and felt sorry for him or something. Wow, that's really great. Okay, what other kind of memories? I thought it was just like, I don't know, something not quite so meaningful. What about, what about Foxglove? Uh, Foxglove went to a nice restaurant with April and ate until it got totally full. It got a bit carried away. Oh, Foxglove, you got a bit of an appetite, huh? All right, what about Allspice? Allspice was raised by April and evolved in a stone-lined area. Oh, yeah, I guess so. The Pokemon definitely remembers that it felt comfortable. Well, that's not overly exciting now, is it? Um, I guess those are the only ones that have been on the team for any amount of time, really. What about Cardamom? Uh, raised by April and evolved in a mired road. Definitely remembers it felt proud. I guess this is some good insight to everyone's personality in a way. I wouldn't have kissed that Foxglove likes to eat. Hemlock rode a bicycle with April at a large city. <laughs> Pokemon remembers that it had fun. And Hemlock became Maryland's friend when it arrived by, or arrived by a link trade at a Pokemon Center. It remembers that it felt good. Huh. All right, I guess he likes riding bicycles. Well, all right, what about Belladonna? Uh, rode a bicycle. Uh, it's basically the same thing, minus the trading. Okay, I guess they like riding bikes together. That's odd. I'm just trying to imagine a Drapion riding a bike, okay? That's just an odd thought. Anyway, I need to go do a little bit of training. It's not really that I need to. I'm sure I could probably go into the gym just fine. I'd like to get everyone up to level 46 or even 47. Just because there's going to be a lot of action coming up soon and... I feel really good about this pair for the gym. I'll probably keep Belladonna at 45, maybe even. I don't even think she needs any levels. She's pretty much, like, just going to wreck everything in the gym. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. But I just want to get everyone else kind of ready for everything coming up ahead. So I'm going to do that, and I will see you when I'm done.
All right, I'm all done with training. It took about, I don't know, an hour and 15 minutes. It wasn't terrible, but certainly wasn't quick. Actually, it took Sage probably the longest just because, like, he didn't have as good of areas to train. I found that the Floatzel and Lombre over on Route 15 surfing was very nice. But yeah, so I'm definitely going to use Belladonna here. I think she'll be amazing for this gym. And I think Hemlock will do all right as well. He's obviously weak to Psychic, but I mean, Shadow Ball coming from this thing should be able to take out a lot. So I'm feeling good about that. Uh, Sage would do okay if it weren't for the fact... Wow, hold on a second here. Belladonna is, like, actually quite a bit faster than Hemlock. That is crazy. Man, she is so fast. I mean, I guess Sage makes everyone look slow, but that's pretty impressive. I guess I didn't expect her to be that fast. I know she has a positive nature for it, but, huh, go figure. Well, excellent. Anyway, let's go to the gym. The Anastar City Gym. Might look simple from the outside, but... Woo! Your whole world changed, baby! Oh, man! All right. So, a lot of the trainers here are optional, but I think I'm going to have to fight each and every one of them. That's why I didn't want to train up uh, Belladonna all the way, because... Yeah, I'm going to be gaining a lot of experience. So, yeah. This guy, definitely not optional. Let's go ahead and fight against the first Psychic. Oh yeah, uh, Executor. No problem, I can handle that. Hmm, the question is, do I want to go for Poison Jab for the little extra strength or go for the crit? You know what, we're gonna go for the crit. Let's Night Slash. Again, with that lovely, uh, Oh yeah, I got the crit, that's amazing. Yeah, with the, um, not the razor claw, but the, what is it, the scope lens, that's right. Between the scope lens and Night Slash's higher critical hit rate, she actually has a 50% chance of getting a critical hit, and critical hits will do 50% more than usual. So, two and a quarter times as much damage. Yeah, I know, I mixed fraction <laughs> methods there, but oh well, it's fine. Um, 2.25. There we go. We'll stick with decimal. Yeah, decimal fractions, percentages. I know you're not supposed to mix them, but <laughs> I did. So sue me. All right. Wow, there's actually not as many trainers here as I thought. I'm trying to find them all. Just on the off chance any are trainers of death. Psychic type trainers. I tell you, they can be really tough. They can be. I mean, they're not always tough, but... There are a lot of very strong, very hard-hitting Psychic-type Pokémon that usually I just kind of, I kind of lump them all in the, yeah, they're gonna kill you category. But not today, I've got a really nice, um, I've got a really nice Drapion. She is just amazing. Psychic Harry, you're a wizard, Harry! <laughs> Oh, this kind of stinks. Um, I don't actually have anything super effective against that. I think dark... I think fighting resists dark. Uh, I mean, it's not that much of a problem, I don't think, but it's just definitely a counter to my strategy here. Oh, high jump kick. Holy smokes! All right, well... I know just what we need to do, if that thing's gonna be high jump kicking again. It's clearly not gonna be going for a psychic move. So, I'm gonna switch out, and hopefully this thing will hit itself with high jump kick. Because <laughs> it's not gonna affect Hemlock. Yeah! Take that! Okay, great. And we can finish the job with Shadow Ball. Pretty good synergy there, huh? <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right. I got to heal up after that. I guess I should be a little bit more careful thinking, oh, yeah, I got nothing to worry about. Um, I don't really have that much to worry about, but, yeah, there are definitely some things that could catch me off guard. 
like that. Um, but it's okay. I also didn't get the critical hit there. If I did get a critical hit, that thing would have been knocked out in one hit, which would have been amazing. Because of Sniper. I love that Sniper. That's actually really cool. I think it's an, a fun kind of tactic. Um, oh, that's not a path. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got? Could have sworn there were a lot more trainers here. Feels like there are so few. Oh, okay, there's all the trainers. Uh, wow, there's several more of them up there. Okay, let's fight this person. I had a vision that the battle we are about to have will be different from all previous battles. Yeah, that you're gonna lose? Reuniqueless. I don't know what makes that thing so unique. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead and night slash that thing. Oh! There's that crit, so good. Oh man, love those critical hits. Belladonna's just like destroying the entire gym, it's amazing. You and your Pokemon look like you know how to share your burdens with one another, right? We do, <laughs> we've shared a lot of burdens. Oh, man. Um, okay, here we go. This is a cool concept for the gym, but I tell you, it does get very confusing after a while. Now, I know this is the wrong way, but I want to fight the trainers, so let's do that. Alright, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's like magnets! Arachna, there's a name. Jinx! Huh, ice type, ice psychic, of course, but, well, we don't have to play nice with this ice. Yeah, night slash. Didn't even need a critical hit. I mean, really, Belladonna's probably like the ultimate Pokemon for this gym, man. No mercy. I know I have a, uh, you know, Greninja, which is also pretty good, but the fact it doesn't have Dark Pulse yet does kind of hurt. Much rather have Dark Pulse than Night Slash. Gardevoir. Oh, that's actually not as much of a problem because I have Poison Jam. Trace. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't have the high critical hit rate with this. I mean, I do have a little bit better than normal, but... Oh yeah, didn't even need it, no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> See, I knew I didn't need to train her up. She'd get enough experience just wrecking all the trainers in the gym. All right, I think there's like maybe one, maybe two more. Uh, Or not, yeah, I guess there's just Olympia there. Well, cool, so I'm more or less all healed up. I don't feel the need to go back. I mean, I guess I could to restore the power points of Night Slash, but I think 11 Night Slashes will be more than enough to take out her Pokemon. Now the question is, do I want to set up a Swords Dance or not? I think all of her Pokemon are just plain and simple weak to dark, so shouldn't be that bad, but she does have a Slow King and it's kind of defensive, so I might want to just set up a sword stance just to be sure. Anyway, let's fight against the Lady of Little Words, Olympia. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Oh yeah, it's time to fight against Olympia! And she leads with her Sigilyph, which I just realized might possibly have Whirlwind. I don't remember what her moves are, but I guess that's a possibility because I do know that Sigilyph have those. So I think I'm actually going to go for Night Slash just to get it out of the way as quickly as possible. And I didn't even get the crit. Oh, Reflect! We can't have none of that now. No, we cannot, although critical hits would get around Reflect, so it's actually not that big of a deal. So, I'm going to actually go for the Swords Dance. Hopefully it doesn't get all whirlwindy on me, because that'd be kind of bad. Air Slash. 
avoided the attack! You're just, like, a monster, Belladonna. You're amazing. All right, well, you know what? I mean, I'm sure I would have survived that, but obviously not having to take that damage is great. So I do have that Reflect to worry about, but if I get a critical hit, it gets around that, meaning this is going to be an all-or-nothing kind of thing. Uh, well... Oh, no, Yawn! Hmm. This presents a problem. Although it's actually not that bad. I could switch out. It's not like this thing is going to use Psychic against me. Why would it do that? So, I could switch for Hemlock, then switch back for Belladonna. And that'd probably be alright. Alright, let's do that. Unless you're, like, cheating or something. Don't know why you'd do that. Yawn again. Oh, this isn't gonna be fun. But, you know what? I think it'd be better just going for Shadow Ball. Let Hemlock be asleep, because... There's not really as much Hemlock is going to be able to do compared to, um, Belladonna. Like, really? <laughs> Look at Slowking just looking all smug. All right, we're going to do that. Because otherwise, I'm going to switch out and it's going to do nothing. Unless she went for Psychic, I guess. Which, yeah, I guess that probably would have worked. Oh, well, it's not really a huge deal. At least I hope not. Yeah, Hemlock is asleep. Okay, Meow Stick. But again, Belladonna should be able to handle a Meow Stick. I'm, like, positive this thing doesn't have any ground-type moves. And that's really all I have to worry about. Okay, let's go for Night Slash. Fake out. All right, well, let's not go for Night Slash, then. Faster than that thing. That's great. Be nice if you got, like, a crit or something. Oh, Shadow Ball. Uh, yeah, that was cute. Okay, let's finish the job. There's the critical hit. And just like that, we've defeated Leader Olympia. Create your own path. Let nothing get in your way. Your fate, your future. Now, the psychic badge. A testament to your skill. Proof of your power. Sweet! Oh yeah, seven badges, plus a drastically increased level limit. A symbol of trust, level 90 or below, Pokemon Obey. And I get Calm Mind. That could actually be pretty useful for Allspice. Special attack and special defense are increased, the Calm Mind TM. Or maybe that's trademark. <laughs> Power that grants life awakens, voices of woe, that is your future. Back from whence you came, you can be transported there. Walk to the entrance. Oh, sure. Farewell. Yep, goodbye. Woo! Well, that was pretty good. But... Who's saying that? Calum! What are you doing here again? Ready for a rematch already? Dude, we just fought, like, last episode. What's this? Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. <laughs> nope, not that. Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. I am your face. No, I'm not. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't in our group, and return the world to a beautiful natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future, invading our YouTube comments. I will cleanse the filth by unleashing the ultimate weapon on the world! Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is a due to you all. Well, that escalated quickly. What was Lysander saying? Was he breaking the fourth wall? Wiping the slate clean and eliminating everyone of Team Flare? April, let's split up and look for Team Flare's base. Where could Lysander be though? We first met him in Lumio City. Maybe he's there. Yeah, maybe he is. We're gonna have to go there. Who are these people standing around here? From Magenta Plaza. Okay, that's a hint. Team Flare forever because this outfit has extra pizzazz to drinking espresso at Lysander Cafe. Hint, hint. 
Yeah, anyway, we're gonna have to start saving the world in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon X Wedlock. See you next time, Lysander! Ah!